What's up guys, it's the Dowson. We are back here on the V for Vanilla server, and currently I am in my little carrot farm. Uh, you guys are well aware of what this is, although some things have changed. I've been doing some work around my base, and things are starting to really come together, and I think we're really pushing for that good old uh, castle look that we talked about before. So if we just come outside here, we can step back and take a look at things and talk about what I'm talking about here. You see the roof ends right about here and there's a lot of mountain behind it and uh, same thing goes with like this area and stuff. It's even kind of poking through right there which doesn't look very nice and um, just the way I have the hallways and everything throughout my base it kind of feels like a castle already and those windows kind of look castle-y and uh, just the whole setup I have inside with the armor stands uh, everything feels castly. Even that little, that, that's actually the library right there. That's the little uh, corner where we do enchanting. But pretty soon here, I think we're getting close to it because we're kind of putting everything else together. And it might be about time to actually start doing uh, not necessarily end game type um, base modifications, but definitely making another big step towards uh, permanent designs. Like there's a lot of things that's not necessarily permanent designs just yet. Uh, I kind of whipped this up, these little bridges here, uh, that bridge over there was a first. Um, those things might change. I mean, even the um, even the stable we got out here might change. Uh, but now that we have this, and I even have a pen behind it, and check this out. I don't even know if I've told you guys about this. Um, all of these horses in here are all the 26 heart skeleton horses. Now, if you have your server on hard mode... Um, the chances of these guys spawning is increased, like, big time. And, you know, we're on hardcore mode, uh, hard mode and hardcore mode. Uh, so we get them all the time. I haven't seen many lately, although I haven't really been playing too much Minecraft. I've been putting out, like, one video a week at most, and I apologize for that. M maybe that's better. Maybe that's better. The, the views... <laughs> the videos get better views if I only upload once a week. So maybe you guys like that. Maybe you like the once a week stuff. But let me know if you... I, I want to get back on a better schedule. I want to be uploading more. I need to upload a lot more things, you know. V for Vanilla, I'd like to do two videos a week. I'm not going to get into the whole thing. You guys understand. Um, but that's the idea. I think maybe we're going to start forming out a, uh, a pseudo castle for now. Um, we'll just get like a shape around it. You know, we'll build off this... This will be like layer one, and then above it, you know, be all like the the, the archways and the, the pillars and the points and the all the cool stuff that castles have, medieval type castles. For now, it'll just be fake, you know? It'll be like a pseudo castle for now uh, up here. But you never know. There is a lot of space still around here in these hallways. We can make some staircases going upwards, and uh, maybe we could start actually using like an upper part of this base. We can make this base even bigger. But right through those doors, right off of the storage, we have... All of these villagers um, running around in here, planting these crops. The whole idea... Of, I've explained this so many times. Um, the whole idea with this is uh, they, keep, they, they keep planting, and then they keep uh, harvesting them, and then they pass them to each other. Meanwhile, under here, I have a track that bounces back and forth, and uh, it bounces around this hopper minecart we got, and this picks up all the stuff they try to pass to each other, or the stuff they don't pick up then everything that goes into there eventually stops. It's on a clock, so it goes for about 60 seconds. I don't know. You would think this is a lag causer, causer but uh, if anybody was to feel lag, it'd be your old boy Doza. And this thing's not too bad. Uh, so we've had this for a while, is my point, but we've made some modifications to it. I actually made it a little bit bigger, and I made like an official entrance on this side, because this was just like a big old sloppy room. Um, you just walk in, and it was a bunch of space and stuff. So what I did was I brought the stairs right up here to the entrance of this little archway we have, uh, put some fences up, some design, put another light here, extended the farms out a little bit. But this is happening. I needed to point this out, okay? This is strange. They have been doing this for days. I mean, they are all over here. You can see there's, there's plenty of other crops over here to harvest. But I think these guys are glitched out, and I think... I mean every single one of them, or something, because... They are just fighting over this land right here. These three blocks, or two blocks, yeah, three, these three, this little L shape right here. They keep fighting over it. Look, they plant it, and then either they or somebody else picks it up. And I think at the same time, they're also passing it to each other. Um, so that's that's a little strange. I'm gonna, actually going to sit here AFK in a minute 
and see how how, mu how many of these carrots I can collect. I don't know if they're emptying their inventories. I don't know if they're duplicating or pff, I don't really know what's going on here. Uh, we might have to tear this down because look at this very very simple um, cactus farm. And I never use cactus. I'm just this is taking a long time to fill up. This is nothing you want to build I in this scale. You want to build this much bigger if you're trying to get a whole lot of cactus. This is only four of these guys, and. Uh, it's very slow. This has been going for, I guess, a year now. <laughs> Ever since I joined, I think I, uh, this was, you know, near the beginning of my time here on FIFA Vanilla. Uh, but it's getting there. It's going to fill up pretty soon, so we might have to uh, halt the production on that. <laughs> Two doors into the hallway. I've been meaning to do something about this for a while, and it's finally been done. Got some plants out here. Look all nice. Look all nice. But come in here and check out this room it's still in mega alpha mode okay um but basically what's going to happen in here is we are going to store away charged creepers and kind of have them on display kind of like a matrix kind of thing i don't know or like an alien movie uh we're going to have these giant glass cylinders and going to have the charge creeper held inside it and it's going to have some function. For one, it's going to store away our charged creepers. I accidentally hit the pause key. I'm not even sure where I where I hit that at. But ho hopefully that wasn't too far back. But basically, this room is going to be a place to store away my charged creepers. And, you know, just, just a place to make sure that they're safe and nothing bad's going to happen to them. And I think we're going to start building that on the next episode. I do want to I do want to keep progressing on this tonight. Uh, I started this last night and um, kind of... You know, it took a break for, for today, and tonight I plan on really getting this to work. And we're also going to have some functionality to it. I'm going to somehow make it so these creepers can be automatically put in here via minecart or boat or something. And and can also be taken out and moved to wherever we want to put them. Because we're going to have to build some kind of like obsidian box uh, to be able to actually use these guys um, in order to get skulls from, from mobs and whatnot. Uh, but we need a place to store it away, so I think we're going to try to figure something out with that. I'm not sure what. I know a couple of designs uh, where we can... Oh, stop. Get, get an axe to the face. Uh, I know a couple of designs we can use to get them into the minecart and have them uh, move around to wherever we want them and stuff. So I just need to figure out how to actually incorporate those designs into the build. And, of course, you know, try to hide them underground or something. It's going to be hard because this right here, check this out. That's the surface. We are right near the surface, so terraforming is going to have to be done. Um, this is what we're looking at. Uh, this was all filled with water, and I catch creepers randomly out in the night. Bring them in here, uh, and it was all filled with water because lightning can actually cause fires, and you can get a charged creeper, but there's if it's there's not lava, or <laughs> if there's not water at its feet, uh, chances are it could burn. It could burn and die, um, so I keep my guys in water. Uh, I actually have a couple over here, I do believe. I do believe. Hello. Hello, guy. Still got one in there. We'll have to bring him down below. I also have one over here still. Uh, chilling in that glass over there. Uh, but this is what I had before. We're going to rebuild something like this. But since I didn't pay attention to really what I was doing while I was building down there, I didn't realize we are getting so close to the surface. Uh, so terraforming is going to have to be done over here. You can see this is actually the ceiling. Uh, so I'm going to have to make all of this stone. I'll show you guys what I'll be doing next, who even knows how long. Uh, but stuff like this, you can see, there's some holes, a lot of holes. Uh, but doing this, to make the ceiling all, you know, stone, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Why, why am I talking about this? This is not important. So this is this is what we're going to be working on. I think the next episode, uh, we're going to be doing this thing down below, uh, making this uh, storage for charged creepers. I'm not even sure what we need to call it. Um... And then after that, I think we might get it, get out front and start uh, start playing with the whole castle look around here. I really want to start getting stuff done, start being able to... Uh, I, I don't ever want to complete my base. I don't want to ever call my base completed, because then that means, you know, that, that chapter's over. And, and we got to keep stuff going. And I think the best way to do it is to just keep the base going, keep adding to it, keep inspired... You know, keep projects on the roll. Uh, so I'll, I'll never say we're aiming to complete the base, but that's kind of what I'm saying is we're we're aiming for some more permanent builds and permanent designs and really making this base uh, come to light in, in the way that I 
that I see it, uh, that I saw it in my brain when I decided to build here. Okay. I'm going to spend some time AFK here. We're going to see how much, how many of these carrots and potatoes I can collect because I'm not sure if these guys are duplicating it or if they're just wasting time emptying their inventories, throwing this stuff back and forth. So I'm going to hang out right here and I'm going to collect as many free t potatoes and carrots as I possibly... Okay, I'm going to try to squeeze like in the middle of them. I'm going to stand right here, see how many carrots and potatoes I can collect. And you know what? We're going to time lapse it too. Alright, well that guy moved on with his life, so hopefully these guys too. Uh, so far they've filled up my entire inventory with carrots, and it looks like they're still throwing potatoes. Uh, so, so, I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm not sure if this is going to be some kind of exploit where I can get infinite carrots, um, or if they're just, uh, if they're just emptying their inventory. I'm not too sure. You know what? I'm going to hang out here off camera. No more time lapse. Alright, these guys are starting to throw me bread now, and they're definitely filling me up on the carrots, but a couple of them have broken away and gone and uh, harvested all the other crops we saw over here, so I'm guessing they're just emptying their inventories. Why they are fixated on this one spot, I have no clue. <laughs> but off camera, I'm going to fix these rails underneath here and, uh, and, and just pretty this place up, make this an official room, you know, we're kind of trying to bring it to a wrap on a lot of things is kind of the topic we're talking about. Stop I have decided um, I'm going to shut down the whole villager operation. I got plenty of villagers. Um, I got all the villagers I wanted to get over at spawn. If I put any more in there, I'll just take some from my my little collection around here. Uh, but I think it's time to shut down this this villager breeder now. I think I'm I'm good, man. I'm done with villagers. It's time to move, move on to new projects and uh, stuff like that. So I'm going to shut it down. You know, the room's going to stay the same, but... Uh, it, I'm just, I'm done. I'm done with it. So, I'm gonna turn it off. And while we talk about that, let's end the pearl up here. Oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Um, this week, or next week, the week after you see this, um, we're gonna be uploading ah a Q and A, and it's something new that we're doing on V for Vanilla as a group. If you don't know, there is a V for Vanilla YouTube channel which you can find down below. There we go. Monumental moment. Just took the doors out. That'll stop the breeding on this thing. Uh, but it'll be uploaded on that channel. And uh, every month, I believe, we're going to be doing a Q&A for um, different members of the V4 Vanilla uh, group. So this week, it is my good buddy Dunmar. So go over to Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter account, go ahead and make one, especially for this. It's totally worth it. I'm um, actually going to put these doors back up top. Uh, where the actual breeders are. Um, but on Twitter, tweet to at V for Vanilla. We have a V for Vanilla Twitter page as well. So tweet at V for Vanilla and leave your question for Dunmar uh, with the hashtag AskDunmar. And, um, and then we will answer your guys' questions. And then, and then pretty soon, it's going to be me. We, we don't know yet. We don't have a schedule for who goes what or in what order or anything. Hello. Um, but you can still tweet at V for Vanilla with the hashtag AskDoza, and uh, we can store away your questions for a future date whenever whenever mine comes up. So I just need to bring that up. Uh, the villager farm is shut down. I think we still talk about the, vill the villagers a little bit more in this episode, but uh, I just had to cut in and say this because I needed to, needed to get it in an episode before the actual date of the recording because I want you guys to get involved. Uh, so please go over to Twitter and tweet at V for Vanilla your question with the hashtag AskDunmar, and it'll be added to the roster of questions, and then the following week or so afterwards, the video will be uploaded onto the V4 Vanilla YouTube channel. Uh, all these links are down below, so be sure to check those out. Uh, so anyways, just wanted to get that out of the way. Oh, hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video again. I seem to do this every few episodes or so. 
Uh, but I am way out here in the world. I dug a little branch off of my uh, nether tunnel because I wanted to get to new chunks. I'm not too terribly far out here. I mean, I'm pretty far. But uh, check out what I just found. Um, I dug into the nether, built a tunnel, uh, came out to the ocean. I'm honestly lost right now. I have no idea how I'm, gonna get, how I'm going to get back. Uh, but that ended up in this ice plains, and I thought, ooh, snow. I thought maybe I should try to find an igloo because this is a 1.9 new feature. And check it out, I found one. So I've never been inside one of these, and I've kind of purposely avoided a lot of the uh, like the update lists and stuff. Because I wanted a lot of uh, 1.9 stuff to be genuine, you know, have a genuine reaction and kind of uh, discover it myself. Minecraft eating so loud. Okay, well, now that it's snowing, it's all cold out here, we might as well go inside this nice warm igloo. We got a little bed we can sleep in that I can't sleep in right now. Got a furnace, there's a redstone torch for some reason. And, wait, did we remove that? There, there's something you do. I think there's a, uh, oh, my inventory is full as hell, too. There's some way... Oh my god. There's some way to get down below. I think there's a, like a dungeon, not really a dungeon, but like a little thing below that has all kind of cool stuff. I guess we'll throw that out. That. Um, I have a thing with keeping chain armor, but I guess I'll throw that out too. I need to keep the flint and steel, keep my obsidian, just in case I need a portal to get back. Uh, I also ran into spiked ice. So I grabbed some of that, and I ran in, you know, there's a bunch of ice out here, so I grabbed some ice too, just because I have an ice farm at home. But I figure while we're out here. Alright, so we got a few spaces now in the inventory, and I think... Oh, here it is. Oh yeah, so, if I'm not mistaken, there should be there should be some cool little... Oh boy. There should be some cool little uh, things to find underneath here. I'm trying to find a good spot to put a torch, because it's so freaking dark. Torch? There we go. Wow, this goes deep. Honestly, didn't expect it to go this deep. I thought it'd be right underground. Um, so I know there's loot, and I've heard some rumors that... Oh yeah, you can hear them right now. Oh, just like I heard too. I heard there's always one villager and one zombie villager, and they're usually the same same type of villager. It's got little arrows on it. That's cool. Oh, look at the little setup in here. Got a cauldron filled with water. Um, oh, splash. Oh, Dude, this is all set up. Wait, does that mean there's a... Oh, there is a golden apple in here. Not much else. A little bit of coal, a little bit of gold nuggets. But check that out, dude. It comes with a weakness potion, so you can actually heal this guy. And... Oh, wait, you're already healed. What am I doing? Put that back. So, I did... I've done this already in 1.9. I don't know if it's a bug, uh, but I don't think there's any more waiting period uh, for healing these guys. So check this out. So first, of course, we hit him with the potion. And then watch this. Oh no! It actually did it this time. I cured two villagers at my base, and it was instant. As soon as I hit him with the golden apple, they healed right away. And I'm thinking maybe that was because they were already a villager, and they had been transformed um, into... Oh, right away. So what do you got? 39? But yeah, he, uh, anyway, so you guys get what I'm saying. This guy has 36. You know, I'd keep you. You're a pretty cool guy, so I'm just going to take a screenshot of the coordinates. Is there anything hidden under here? Uh, nope. Okay, cool. Well, I guess that's that. Um, not too terribly much to discover here. Uh, n nothing I even want to take, really. Um, but that's cool. I, I guess I found one, so that's awesome. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything else hidden here that I'm probably missing. Okay, let's get up out of this hole. Oh, that is beautiful! Look at that! I heard a witch. I heard a witch. Phil just got online. I'm with Phil and Dunmar right now. Or Phil, Dunmar, and Biz. But check this out. So before, this would not work. This would simply just not work because you'd try to come up this and you'd smack, you get, get stuck right there on the edge of this. So most of the time, if you had a ladder with a trap door in it, you had to put the trap door on this side. But look at this. It goes like right through it. That is amazing. I guess that's a 1.9 thing, right? It's pretty awesome. All right. Well, I'm gonna take my uh, take my ender chest and be on my way. I guess. Don't really want to take a nap. Look at the little bunnies too. They're so tiny. Amazing. All right. Well, uh. I'm going to find my way back home. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for today. Uh, it's been a long episode. We were kind of all over the place. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this video was actually recorded over the span of a few days uh, throughout the week. Doing, the, doing this one video a week thing, I guess I got a lot of time to get stuff done. But uh, like I said, I still want to upload at least two videos a week of V for Vanilla. So hopefully starting next week, we'll do that. 
Um, but speaking of uh, future episodes, I know I said in the next episode we're going to get started on this room over here. Uh, but I've got started on it a little bit, and the video is over, but I'm just going to show you what I've done. Uh, and also, I put this carpet down all throughout the main hallways of my base, because people seem to get lost very easily. Uh, so I decided to lay down these red carpets uh, for all the main hallways. So all you got to do is follow one of these red carpets, and you will get out of my base eventually. Okay, so back down here, let's head on into this room. And you can see, I've done a little bit of design work. Right away, I know the lime green carpet pops out a lot. And I don't think I'm going to keep that. I'll probably change it to something. Uh, maybe I won't have any carpet at all on the ground. I'm not really sure. Uh, but I put these chandeliers up. And I'm, I'm using these new uh, end rods. Which are very interesting. The purple is really... It's a very uh, strong color to work with. Even the purple blocks, the new blocks, I'm not really a big fan of them. And uh, I, I wish these had like a gray base or something rather than that purple. Oh crap. Uh, I broke it. Um, rather than that purple base, I wish it had kind of uh, uh, any other color besides purple, <laughs> really. Nothing against the color purple. It's a very pretty color. Um, but I've been making these chandeliers, and I made quite a few of them actually throughout... Uh, the ceiling of this room, uh, but I think it looks really good, and I also put a prismarine block in the middle, it kind of goes nicely, uh, but yeah, it doesn't look too bad, there's a lot of colors going on in here, I, I, this is not going to stay, I don't know what color the carpet's going to be, but I need to do something, and I kind of do want to use carpet, because underneath here, somewhere, somewhere, I have a uh, light hidden under here, so we have light coming from um, these guys under the carpet, and also these uh, these lantern type things, what, what are they called? Chandeliers, uh, throughout this place. And then, I wasn't going to tell you guys this episode yet, but check out what I did. I built, like, a staircase on the back side of this room, and right here I'm doing the old trick, which, uh, this is actually the reveal. I don't know if I've ever talked about it. Actually, yes, of course I have. Uh, but doing this trick so mobs can't actually come into here, and, uh, and then the carpet continues out this way, and we have a freaking landing strip. And oh, I wish I would have actually waited till the next episode to, to show you guys this. Because uh, I want to give this thing a test run. So I, I guess I guess hang around and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And ah, come back for the next episode. And uh, I promise you we'll test this thing first thing in the next episode. And, and, and if I don't, call me out on it. Leave it in the comments and call me out if I don't actually start <laughs> the next episode. Testing out that runway. Super epic. Anyways, crazy video today. It was a lot of fun to edit. A lot of fun to record, of course. And I hope you guys enjoyed as well. If you did, please leave a like. And leave a comment down below. And, uh, I don't know, just thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Love, peace, and chicken grease.